everyone in today's reading we're going to take a look and see what messages are coming up for you at this particular point in time it is going to be a general reading but it is a reading for those of you that are going to resonate with it the most and therefore a reading for those of you that need it the most if you are after a personalized tarot reading feel free to reach out and inquire my email is going to be listed below the video let's take a look and see what messages are coming in for you the bottom of the deck is the four not the four the ten of wands i can count i promise okay there is someone whose energy is pulling on yours especially at this particular point in time this feels like it could be the energy of an ex or someone whom maybe you're not necessarily in a relationship with this person maybe you're not necessarily communicating but there is someone whose energy is lingering around yours someone who is thinking about you someone who is wanting to make contact wanting to communicate someone who wants to reach out it does feel like it does feel like this is the energy of an ex this is someone whom this is someone whom i think you might have broken up with someone whom you might have disconnected with maybe even someone who has ghosted you or someone who even though this person may have pulled away or like physically distanced themselves from you it feels like their energy is still pulling on yours it feels like they're still thinking about you and there's still a thread or a cord that connects the both of you together If this is an ex, then I feel like after the initial breakup, you may not have heard, like after the initial breakup, this person or maybe yourself may have felt a sense of relief. However, you might have felt a sense of relief and maybe your person might have, you or your person might have focused on moving on. However, right now, the end where the energies are at, right now in this particular po uh, point in time it feels like this person is feeling really alone this person even though they were focusing on moving on and they may have focused on enjoying their life without you enjoying like or trying to adapt to a life without you it, it feels like this person is really struggling and it feels like they have entered a phase or a stage where this person finds themselves really missing you and really thinking about you a lot. Um, this person is also wondering why aren't you chasing them or perhaps this is the person that I'm connecting to. Um, you're wondering why aren't they chasing you. Someone here is wondering how is it that... How is it that their ex is able to be so strong or how is it that maybe you're able to be so strong without 
contacting them, without missing them, without reaching out to them. Okay, someone is really thinking about you. Someone is really thinking about you. It does feel like this is someone who, again, this is a strong energy of an ex or a strong energy of someone whom you were connected to romantically. You were in a relationship with this person or even if it wasn't a relationship, you were intensely and passionately connected and attracted to this person and you were involved with this person, even if it wasn't necessarily a relationship or a traditional relationship. But this person is thinking about you. Um, this person is also thinking about the consequences of their actions, okay? Because the Four of Swords is a wounded soldier that lies at rest. So someone he is hurt. Someone is feeling really hurt. They're hurt because they might have hurt you. They might have betrayed your trust. They may have done something that has messed up the relationship or messed up the future of the relationship. Um, this person is a creature of habit, okay? And because there are four of swords, I feel like this person has hurt you before. Or I feel like this person has been in a relationship very similar to yours where they sabotaged it or, or where they jeopardized the relationship. So I'm picking up a very strong energy of um, this person being like a creature of habit. I'm also seeing like this person is like checking their phone a couple of times a day. Someone who's checking up their phone. Because um, maybe they expected you or you expected to hear from them at a certain time of day. Um, okay, someone is really feeling the loss here. Someone is really feeling the loss. Someone is really missing you. Someone is really wanting to communicate wanting to reach out, wanting to communicate. But because swords are a weapon, it feels like this person may have hurt you in the past. And it may not have been the first time they've hurt you or they've hurt the relationship. Um, they're trying to work through things in their mind. This person is trying to make progress in their mind. This person is trying to... Like they're really preoccupied with you. This person is very curious with you. Okay, and I feel like especially right now, this is someone who is thinking about you a lot. So I don't know if it's because some of you have a birthday coming up. It could be an anniversary date. Um, it could be something special around this time. But this person finds themselves, like their curiosity and their preoccupation with you right now is really intensely magnified. I feel like they're trying to do some things to distract themselves with spending time with family, spending time with friends, um, just doing something that puts their focus somewhere else, playing an instrument, calling a friend, like taking walks. Um, however, I just feel like the more it, it's interesting because the more they try to move on and the more they try to forget about you, the more that they, they think about you. It feels like they've lost control. It almost feels like they've lost control over their feelings. They've lost control over their thoughts. There's this really, I'm good. It is a preoccup, uh, preoccupation, but it's sort of like an obsession. Okay, because of the devil's energy, it, it's this obsession, and it's this sort of energy. If they can't have you, they don't want anyone else to have you. And that's the other thing. There is a energy of jealousy here. So this person can't stand the thought of you being romantically involved with someone else. This person can't stand the thought of having someone else's arms wrap around you, right? I'm also picking up that someone in this relationship had an avoidment, um, an avoidant attachment style. So... Basically, there was 
Someone's avoidance was a need for their independence. It does not necessarily translate to them wanting to be alone or not wanting to be in a relationship. But I feel like this person, they want to be in a relationship where they still feel like they have a sense of independence. They still have their sense of individuality, right? And often the paradox is that in relationships you aren't as independent anymore, right? And this is something that I feel like this person, whoever it is that I'm talking to, was really struggling against. I feel like this person is really channeling their emotional anguish. I feel like they're really trying to understand their actions and trying to understand what, what has happened. I also see that they this person is this person is like wishing for reconnection or this person is wishing for reconciliation. This person is wishing for you. They're wishing for things to go back to the start. They're wishing for things to to get better they're wishing they're really trying to they're struggling but they're really trying to stay strong basically this is someone who's really struggling without you and this is this person is really struggling because you're not together i sense that this is someone who wants to communicate and if they do communicate with the queen of swords energy i feel like this is someone who's about to get really real and deep with you about their feelings and their emotions for you for some of you this could be a situation where there may have been a third party okay um, maybe this person was in a relationship with someone else. Maybe you were attached with someone else. So there was a bit of a dis deception, dishonesty, um, a bit of disloyalty happening here. This could have been a really healthy relationship or this could have had the potential to be a very healthy relationship however I feel like I feel like it was maybe based on based on obsession based maybe more on attraction or maybe someone he felt trapped in this relationship they felt trapped in this connection The person that maybe you were involved with or maybe the person that I'm speaking to may have addictions as well. Okay. Um, look, I feel like the chemistry between you and this person is, is or was definitely off the charts. The intimacy, the attraction was probably very intoxicating. However, the fact that the couple here are chained to the devil... This tells us that maybe the desires, the passion for one another, maybe it became an unhealthy obsession. Maybe some of you were in a relationship with someone who was highly attracted to you physically. And it worked up until the two of you like stopped having fun or up until it stopped being fun. Sometimes people do indulge in the idea of someone rather than actually get to know them in reality and get to know them for who they are. So there's a little bit of that coming through as well.
there is something quite intoxicating and addicting about the energies here so either the chemistry was very intoxicating very addictive um, or someone he someone he may have addiction issues sub, substance issues so and that could have he, that could have hindered the relationship that could have hindered the connection I also feel like there's someone who feels a little bit lost or who felt lost in the relationship and who felt that they needed to break away from the relationship in order to discover their identity because a relationship does consist of two people right um, it's important that those two people know who they are before getting into a relationship and I'm picking up that someone he maybe struggled with their identity but there is someone who I feel like you are in separation with this person it does feel like an ex energy um look you may not have been in a relationship with this person uh, but it does feel like this is someone whom you're in separation with each other but this person is obsessively thinking about you this person is highly attracted to you they can't stop thinking about you they want you back they do want you back okay you are someone who is very attractive to them you are someone who's very deeply mysterious but i also feel like this person maybe doesn't have access to you right now and this person is really curious their curiosity is being really heightened and magnified right now because they want to know what you're doing who you know um what you've been up to who are you with are you dating or seeing anyone like this person is really very very curious so they could be um they could just be careful take this as a bit of a warning and this is just for some of you they could resort to stalking you online like constantly checking your social media constantly checking um, what you're posting um, there is this energy of them wanting to reconcile with you but it doesn't feel like it's a healthy energy it feels like because they're a creature of habit I feel like the two of you have done this song and dance before and I feel like there's this unhealthy need someone feels this unhealthy need to own someone else this is not the kind of energy okay major warning this is not the kind of energy that you want to reconcile in but i am seeing that this thinking about you and this obsessing over you is currently being heightened because of their frustration because of their frustration, because of them being unable to reach you, or because you're in a separation. I also feel like they're frustrated with themselves. This is someone who has hurt you. This is someone who has hurt the relationship. And this is someone who is regretting their actions, okay? They understand that they have unhealthy patterns. The both of you started off being very obsessed with this relationship, uh, or being very obsessed with one another. In order to reconcile I feel like this person knows that you have to or I think you know that this relationship stands a reconciliation if it means that you're able to relate to each other on healthier terms okay on healthier yeah basically on healthier grounds whilst for some I think that you might be re realizing that Especially if this wasn't a relationship um, situation, maybe it was more of a situation ship, you might be realizing, you might be recognizing that the connection wasn't necessarily what you thought, because a high priestess sometimes does have a veil of illusion. Um, maybe you realize the connection isn't necessarily what you thought, and you're happy to just part ways. At least you know you had some fun while it lasted at least you got to know this person and at least now you know that it was what it was but someone he someone does need to break free from patterns old patterns that aren't healthy and that weren't healthy for the relationship as well the relationship could be healing okay it could be healing um and it could be a little bit more centered and grounded but that's only if you work together to rebuild 
to rebuild the connection on healthier terms. So if you have been wondering about your ex lately, your ex still feels addicted to you and they still feel like they're trapped by thoughts of you. Alright guys, I'm going to leave it at that. Thank you for your time, your energy, your attention. Keep shining your light and bye for now.